Hello, I'm Martin Fox, and I'm here in Richmond, Virginia at McCoy Publishing. Now, if you've ever heard of McCoy Publishing, you're probably aware that Robert McCoy, who founded it in the 1800s, was very involved in the creation of American Freemasonry as we see it today. He was also a very avid codebreaker. And this you see before you is an original typewriter, which is part of the collection here, that types in cipher. So if I uh, type something here, then I'll be able to show you how it works. So you can see there, that's normal script, that's my name. And let's press the shift key and then we'll produce it in cipher. And as you can see, this cipher is legible when you know what it is. It's actually a cipher that I've been looking for for years called Coptic English. And the idea is that if you have a whole text like this, you can't read it to begin with. Um, until you, your mind sort of fills in the gaps and you realise it is still legible, even though we have the letters in what looks like a foreign alphabet. If you'd like to learn more about amazing adventures into code breaking, American Freemasonry and Masonic ritual, and indeed the history of McCoy publishing, this is a wonderful book. It's based around the discovery of a Masonic ritual manuscript which in the text it says should have been committed to the flames or buried with the body of the owner. Look at this, this is it here. For this reason the book is actually called Committed to the Flames. It's written by Brent Morris and Art De Hoyas.